So it's the first time I've been out in October. It's been quite a busy month for me, uh, October. Things happening. And yeah, finally we've got some clear skies. It's been quite dangerous getting up here, so I'm up at Backwater Reservoir just now. And this is a few days after Scotland just got hit by like a red warning storm. So it was quite a brutal storm and the red warning area is here pretty much. So I had to kind of drive through all the roads that have been absolutely smacked by this storm. It was a, quite a bad storm. I think three people died, uh, two in Scotland and one in England from this storm. So it was a terrible storm, but I could see the devastation driving up here. The road was closed. I had to do a detour. Lo loads of flooding, lo loads of flooding, loads of trees on the road. It took, normally it takes about an hour to get here. It took me an hour and 45 minutes to get here. Uh, just because, yeah, it was <laughs> quite brutal, this this area. The storm's absolutely battered it. Plus, it's really cold now, minus three. And with all the water that's on the road, it's going to be pretty uh, sketchy getting back. You know, a lot of black ice and things like that. So I'll need to be really careful. So I was slow on the way up, going through puddles and stuff. So, um, yeah, glad to be out. Obviously, wasn't out because of the storm. That was the new moon when the storm was. And then before that, uh, I was releasing, like, the book, the a guide to Scotland's night sky so that took a lot of my time so a week of that but yeah finally clear skies the moon set about half an hour ago I'm going to capture Orion which you can see behind me and then Venus is really bright just now that rises about three in the morning so it's about half midnight just now half midnight half twelve at night uh, capture Orion and then wait for Venus to to rise so yeah first time getting out this month just been hectic and hopefully get something get some worthwhile shots this month and we'll see what else in the month brings but yeah go get that optron head down to the loch and start capturing so a bit of a challenge that i've got on this location is there's a like a little kind of i don't know what you call it peninsula island sort of thing protruding into the loch and it looks really nice but if you get too close to it, it kind of overlaps with the like the mount the hills in the background, the horizon, and it just looks messy. So I'm trying to separate the you know the wee outlet island bit into the loch, so you can you know so it makes a good image, so it's not all overlapping and stuff. So I have to come like quite far back from it, get a wee bit higher up this wee slope, and shoot it down, which is not ideal, but I think it will look better image-wise. Uh, but oh my god, it's cold, really cold. Everything's all frosty, which is really good. But yeah, we'll see what this kind of composition looks like because it's not what I had planned, but it'll work. So um, yeah, Orion's in the perfect area of the night sky for this now. So I'll get the Ioptron out and give it a go. I've got this new intervalometer and it's a pain in the bum. It doesn't have an on and off switch. Even the instruction manual says there's no on and off switch. You have to take out the batteries to save power. And I think that's the most mental thing. So I have to carry around loose batteries and then when I want to use it, take them out just to save the power. Why isn't there just an off switch? Mental. Right, I've got the 20mm 1.8 Samyang on. Um, I think that's wide enough because I don't need to catch it, capture the whole thing. But Jupiter is away up there, and that would be quite nice to capture. Um, so I might put the 40 millimeter on, or just do a panel. Uh, but I'm going to test out 20 millimeter, just because it's a narrow view. And yeah, and we'll see how we get on. First time properly shooting Orion this season, I think. Yeah, cool. Excited. I think that's me already. I'm just going to do the foreground first, just to make sure the foreground's set then I can get the sky, you know, any time really. Uh, but I just want to get the foreground, so I'm, I know I'm in the right place. So I'm going to do 1 minute 30 um, for foreground and the sky. I'm going to go for ISO 1000, F1.8, see how that turns out. And yeah, let's go now. There we go, let's see how this turns out. So those settings were absolutely perfect, the foreground is absolutely lovely. Pop the foreground up just now, 
look at that, see? Perfectly all nice and sharp, nicely positioned and um, yeah, you can see the, the wee out, outy bit into the lock which works quite well. So I'm just going to switch the Ioptron on. Ryan's looking beautiful and because it's a, obviously a brake consolation, I'm going to make it pop with the, the Stargo filter. And yeah, that's it, so everything's on. Point in Polaris. Now we just do the foreground, eh, uh, the sky shot. So it's 1 minute 30, so I'm just going to maybe do this for, I don't know, maybe 50 seconds. I'll play about with it. If it's too strong the effect, then I'll obviously reduce the time. Or if I want a wee bit more, then I'll do another shot with a longer time doing this. So if I get this shot done, I'll probably move closer to the island, maybe get a picture of it close up, and then might head along the bank, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood to capture a few images tonight. But I'm looking forward to Venus, because Venus is going to be so bright in these dark skies. It's like Bortle 3 up here. Yeah, normally I like the 14mm for this shot, but because everything's pretty narrow, I can get away with it. I'm not close to this, the foreground. If it was a foreground like in, I, I was in the foreground, then I'd get the 14 mm But because everything's a wee bit further away from me, this is doing fine. Ooh. Love Orion. That's one shot in the bag. So I've quickly just changed my, like the head, and I've gone to like do a panorama because Jupiter's so bright and it's kind of positioned lovely above above these like trees. So I just kind of wanted to try and capture. It's, I don't know. It's a good 180 sort of view. So I might get the 14 millimeter out just in case because that's always good for wide angle, obviously. But I just tried the panorama. I think it works all right. But I do. I might just get the 40 mm just to be sure because I know that'll be really good all in one shot, save stitching and stuff. Even though stitching obviously keeps a lot of quality, um, but I think my 40 mm now with this wide field shot, and then I might go hunting for another composition for Orion, and then that's pretty much it. And then just wait for Venus. But yeah, love this wee rig. So easy to use. Just makes it so simple. I did manage to capture both the panorama and 14 mm can't really tell the difference what one I prefer. I think the Panorama one, uh, just because it was taken with a 20mm f1.8, that the foreground's a wee bit lighter, so I do prefer the foreground in the Panorama one, but then I prefer the sky in the 14mm one. So honestly, I don't know the difference what one to choose, but just happy that I both captured uh, both images. I like capturing just as many images as I can, and then figuring out which one I like uh, in post-processing. So yeah, let me, if you've got a favourite, let me know but they're both pretty much identical to, to me. So that's Orion captured, and I was just scouting the banks just for other compositions, as I said, and came across this lovely one of the plough, just over lovely backwater, lovely reflections, and yeah, it's just a beautiful, simple image. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like that. If I can focus the plough. There we go. So it's just reflection, plough. Beautiful. All right, so it's really cold now. Um, I'll show you the frost on the ground. It's pretty heavy frost. This is probably the first, you know, good one of the season so far. Um, yeah, it's probably about minus four, minus five, something like that. Pretty damn cold. It was nice and cosy in, in the car, kind of half asleep. So it's hard to kind of get myself out of the car. But I'm going, whoa! 
It's a nice meteor just through Orion there. But as you can see, pretty much behind me in the sky, you can see Venus. So I'm just going to shoot Venus. Really, so, but it's so bright. Um, capture pretty much the same composition, same foreground with Venus. And then I might go along the, the bank and try and get something else. Um, but yeah, I need to kind of be speedy because it's at a perfect sort of angle just now. It's not too high, not too low. It's pretty good. So yeah, I'll put the pictures up just now. But yeah. Holy moly, it is so bright, it's just an absolute night sky gem. Look how bright it's shining. And the lovely reflection in the water as well is just perfect. So yeah, hopefully I'll get a good shot here. I'll pop it up and hopefully I'll get more compositions along the bank. There's, there's some high cloud rolling in just now, so it's kind of given all the, well, the planet, Venus and some of the stars, like the glow effect anyway. So I don't think I even need the glow filter just now, because yeah, you'll see on the images, there's quite a lot of high cloud coming in now. Um, it's still it's still bearable, still bearable, but I would have liked it if there wasn't much, but there is supposed to be cloud coming in at like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. So I think this is it just kind of starting to build up. Yeah. Wow, fantastic location though. Beautiful dark skies. So there's not been much photography unfortunately this month due to the weather, the storms that Scotland's gone through and pretty much mainly because of all this book as well. We, we had a lot of clear skies at the new moon but I've been really busy doing the, uh, like these books. So this is the second batch of books that's just gone out now um, and yeah, so we've only, only got that backwater reservoir kind of Orion and Venus trip that I really uh, got this month. But yeah, I've just been bombarded with this. This is the second batch. So I've had to order a third batch as well, so that's where I've been all this month, hopefully next month uh, more stuff, but I'm glad I got out at least a wee bit uh, at Backwater recently. So thanks very much for watching, I appreciate all the support and everything, it's just mental. Uh, I've been doing a lot of talks as well, I've done some in Creef in Aberdeen, I'm doing a workshop hopefully in Aberdeen and then I've got another one, another talk in Perth as well. So yeah, I've done a lot of kind of behind the video scenes sort of things. Um, but yeah, which is really good, it's good to be busy, but yeah, hopefully next month more videos, um, but yeah, thank you again and thanks for watching. Yeah.